Hey guys, this is Martin and we are in the OAuth lab section. Today's lab is forced OAuth profile linking. So this lab gives you the option to attach a social media profile to your account. And then you can basically log in through OAuth instead of normal username and password. However, there's a secure implementation in that specific flow that allows you um, basically to obtain other users accounts or to hijack other users accounts so what we need to do is we need to um, craft an exploit whereby we attach our own social media profile to the admin user account on the block right and then we access the admin panel we delete carlos and for that to happen first and foremost we need to start off with logging in as a regular user, right? So to see how this whole functionality works. So I log in via Wiener and Peter, nothing spectacular. So let's head over to Burp. So you see here, just the login, post request, Wiener, Peter, and then they get to my account. So nothing really out of the ordinary, not OAuth flow related at all. So now I have the option to say, attach a social media profile. So I hit attach a social media profile and now it says like you have successfully linked your social media account. So I wasn't prompted for username and password and stuff because I was already um, logged in. I already did this before prior to the lab. But one thing you can see here is basically, basically there is a code being passed to the OAuth linking and that's a code which is which is basically being passed on and that completes the linking process. Like if you render this here, you, you get the message you have successfully linked your account. So one thing I immediately see here, there's no state parameter or anything like this. So this is dangerous because a state parameter means like it's it's like a C-surf protection, right? So um, that the person who initiates the flow um, also needs to be the person who does the linking. Right. And so that no one can take this over, that I cannot generate my own code and then have someone actually attach my profile to their account and then I can take the account over. And that's exactly what we are going to do because we do have a missing state parameter. So we don't have C surf protection in that scenario. So let's just do this again for you to see. So let's clear the burp history once, once more. And then we go through this again. So I can click here, attach social profile. Boom. And once I've attached this, you can see there is another linking code generated. Now, this is no good right now because that linking code is already expired because it was used in this function and then I cannot reuse it for someone else. So what I need to do here is basically I need to intercept in Burp and let me go here to the proxy intercept, turn the intercept functionality on. I attach now, well, <laughs> not yet. So turn intercept off again. I attach the social media profile. Now I turn intercept on. I attach the social media profile. And that is basically the initial um, request or authentication request with my client ID. The redirect URI goes to this OAuth linking. And this is the one you see in the next step, right? Response type code, the scope, and no state parameter whatsoever. Um, let's forward this. This is fine. This is the one I'm interested in because this is now basically the code, right? Which has been generated. And what I'm going to do now is I say, uh, copy URL and I copy this URL out here first, and then I drop this request. It's important that I drop it because if I would not drop it, it would have been used already. Right? So going back here and now I say log out. I simply go to log out and I'm, I'm logged out now. Now that I have this code, the code is still good, right? Um, is effectively, I'm going to take um, my URL here and I create an iframe. So this is the URL I, I just generated and I create an iframe and in the iframe, I basically just put that URL. So what that means, if this is being loaded, my social media profile, with my code is being linked to the administrator and that should then enable me to access the administrator account. So let's take this, let's head over to our exploit server. Let's head over to our exploit server, let's put it in the body, let's store it and let's deliver it to the victim, which is the administrator, right? Administrator loads this, la 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 la. I go back to my page 
to my account and then I say login via social media. And now because the administrator linked my profile to his account, I have now successfully taken over because I now logged in with social media, but the, the, the profile is basically attached to the administrator account. And you see, I successfully um, um, was able to, to go to the, to the administrator account. Now, if I click on admin panel and delete Carlos, that basically solves the lab. Okay, I hope this makes sense and I see you in the next lab.